Hi, it's Margaret Seconded and welcome to my channel. And uh, this is going to be the third video on my carpal tunnel uh, syndrome exercises. <clears throat> so um, let's get started on this uh, series of uh, stretches and muscle strengthening exercise. All the following steps and exercises should be done on uh, one arm at a time. Again, one arm at a time, all of it. Once you have finished with one arm, proceed then to the other arm and repeat the entire process on it. Now you can do this exercise, uh, exercises and massages if you had surgery, but uh, do it gently and lightly. Um, doing this uh, can actually help speed up the healing process and this therapy will also be helpful over the years um, to use as a sort of a maintenance in our exercises okay exercises so let's get uh, started and uh, we will do the first um, stroke here I mean the first exercise here and uh, this will be done with the painful trigger points the spasm, the knots, and the muscles, and all that uh, pain that you can, with the pads of your fingers, okay, you can see it. With the pad of your fingers, you press gently but firmly down into the muscle and move the muscle back and forth in a sewing motion across the muscle fibers. You will feel the ropiness of your muscles here okay back and forth so this is what you do move down your forearm forearm as shown until you have done the whole arm repeat this three times so again, press gently but firmly down into the muscle and move the muscle back and forth in a sewing motion across the muscle fibers. Okay. So you can do this three times or as much as necessary. Most of the exercises I will show you here, you can do three times or uh, more if it's necessary, if you feel that you need it. Okay. Okay, so that's the <clears throat> that's the back sides. As you can see here, I have my palm down here. Okay, so that's the broad side, uh, the back side of your arm. Now, second exercise that I would like you to do, using the broad cross fiber stroke to spread the fibers of the muscle. Uh, it is to increase the blood circulation with your thumb. Press gently but firmly into the muscle and make a broad sweeping motion across the grain of the muscle fibers. Okay, so let me uh, try to show you how to do this. So, okay, let me do the right hand. Okay. So what you do here is using the broad cross fiber stroke to spread the fibers of the muscle to increase blood circulation. What you do is with your thumb, press gently but firmly into the muscle. Yes, you can see. Make a broad sweep, sweeping motion across the grain of the muscles. Work all the way down to the wrist and then back up to your elbow three times or as much as needed so continue working the muscles on top of your hand as shown here moving into the web of your thumb and then fingers so what i'm going to show you 
this is just for demonstration okay so I did say earlier that you have to do one arm first before you do the other one it's just that because of the way I'm sitting here and my arm it's a bit hard for you to for me to do it and just for you to see it so I'm doing it this way anyway just to give you an idea okay so when you're finished with uh, working down the wrist to the wrist and three times you will st still continue to work the muscles on top of your hand <clears throat> as what I'm showing you here moving into the web of your thumb and fingers. Work on the muscles as much as needed. Uh, of course, it's best not to have any uh, uh, jewelries on you when you're doing these exercises or massages. Okay. So do this as much as needed. Work on the muscles as much as needed well, again using the broad cross fiber stroke you can actually do this with your thumb okay okay now Finally, we can do the back side of the arm and uh, the final uh, stroke or exercise using your opposite forearm as a tool. Gently but firmly press into the arm muscles and push up the forearm, forearm towards your heart. This will enable you to flush away the waste products into your lymphatic system and out of the muscles. Use your forearm in long gliding strokes and always towards your heart. So let's try do this. Use your forearm as a tool gently but firmly press into the arm muscles and push up towards your heart. This will help flush the waste product into the lymphatic system and out of the muscles. Okay, you can use your forearm in long gliding strokes and always towards the heart. Okay, so that's the back side. So you see that I always have my palm down, okay, when I'm doing all these exercises. Now, let's get uh, moving to the underside of the exercise, which is like, <clears throat> so what happens is, as you can see, it's going to be palm up now. Okay, underside of the arm. You'll be using the cross fiber stroke. So begin at your elbow joint with the cross fiber, which is the finger, uh, the three finger. With the pads of your fingers, press firmly down into the muscle and move your fingers back and forth across the muscle fibers in a sewing motion. And this is with the palm up. Okay? So do this you will be able to feel the ropiness in your muscles work all the way down to your wrist repeat three times three times or as much as needed going back and forth Oh, 
Okay. So do this as much as needed all the all the way down to your wrist. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, get on with the next exercise. <clears throat> so the next one will be using the cross fiber stroke to spread the fibers of the muscle to, incre to increase blood circulation. So with your thumb, again, press firmly into the muscle. Again, you will see here that my palm's up. Firmly into the muscle and make a broad sweeping motion across the muscles as I'm showing you right now. Begin at the elbow joint, working all the way down to the wrist and then back to the elbow. Okay, you can do this three times or as much as needed. Okay. Now you can continue to work the muscles in the palm of your hand into the pad of your thumb and fingers. So when you come down to here, this point here, you can work on the muscles around the joints of the fingers. Okay, maybe this. And then gently give a pull on each finger to open up the joint. As you go through each finger to the joint of each finger. And this is so that it opens up the joint. And as I said, give a gentle pull on each finger to open up the joint. Work on the hand muscles as much as needed. Remember to grasp the fingers at the point where they're attached to the hand. So it's closest to the palm here, okay? Pull a little bit. Okay, so using the cross fiber, working the underside of the arm, you know, beginning from the <coughs> elbow joint and down, work all the way down to the wrist, then back up to the elbow and then down there and then continue with the finger uh, muscles around the palm and then after that pulling it a little bit on each finger when you're finished with the cross fiber massaging of each finger okay so you can do this uh, three times or as much as needed you know and um, the Next uh, exercise that I would like to show you has something to do with the elbow. Okay. Hopefully you can see the elbow. Okay. Now for those of you with tendonitis or tennis elbow, uh, this is an inflammation of the tendon. Massaging the tendons and uh, and the muscles around the joints will help uh, uh, alleviate uh, the inflammation and the soreness uh, will help alleviate the how do you call this so what you do here is <clears throat> massage your elbow as shown and work the muscles 
in the upper arm. That means your triceps and biceps. And this point here, you have this point here, and this point here. Remember to align your elbow joint doing the forward arm extensions and lateral arm extensions that I showed you uh, in my second video, which will remove the tension from your joints. So for you, those of you who uh, is just tuning into this video, I have uh, two other videos before this video, and uh, they are part and parcel to this uh, exercise. Actually, um, the, the exercises before should be done before this third, uh, before the, the exercises in this third video. So again, Remember to align your elbow joint doing the forward arm extensions and lateral arm extensions that I showed, early, uh, showed earlier in my second video, which will help remove the tension from your joints. Now again, gently massage around your elbow joints and feel the bones of your elbow and tendon attachments. Where you feel soreness, use the gentle cross fiber and the broad cross fiber strokes. Okay, so this is for those of you with tennis elbow or tendonitis, and uh, you know, this uh, massaging will help decrease the inflammation and soreness. And uh, do this uh, as I am showing you. Right now, okay. So the final uh, to finish this uh, exercise, you will use your upper forearm as a tool again to gently but firmly press into your arm muscles and press up your forearm toward your heart. This will help flush the waste products into your lymphatic system and out of the muscles. Uh, repeat these three times or as much as needed. And once you have completed these steps on one arm, you can begin again on the other arm and repeat the entire series. So again, so to finish this particular, uh, to finish these exercises, use your upper forearm as a tool to gently but firmly push you into your arm muscles and press up your forearm towards your heart again. Say, using your forearm as a tool, gently but firmly press into your arm muscles and press up your forearm towards your heart, toward the elbow joint. Okay? This helps flush, and as you can see, my palms up at this point. This, uh, this, this helps flush the waste products into the lymphatic system and out of the muscles. Again, you can repeat this three times or as much as needed. Once you have completed these steps on one arm, you can begin again on the other arm and repeat the entire series of exercises on the other arm. As you can very well know, the lymphatic system is the tensing system of the body, so it plays an important role in our defense mechanism against diseases, and it helps uh, filter out and dispose some of our uh, waste products and uh, bacteria, bacteria that accumulates in the body. When we do repetitive, uh, repetitive movements with our muscles, we are exercising. So when our muscles are constantly moving, they are accumulating waste products uh, that makes our muscles feel sore and fatigued. So our lymphatic system is there to help, uh, you know, uh, how do you call it? 
help detect, uh, detoxify the body and strength to actually enjoy any wealth that we might uh, attain in life. Okay, so it's Margaret Second at uh, here and saying bye bye for now. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.